Our cottage is situated on a lake called Balsam Lake in the Kwarthas. And this is a really unique property in the sense that it's a family property. There's six cottages and each of my relatives have their own waterfront, but we have shared communal places that we gather. The barn was born more sort of intimately between my husband and I. Uh, we very luckily inherited my parents' cottage. It's a 1970s pan -about. It's really charming, it's really small, and at the same time as we inherited it, our children became teenagers. And our approaches to cottage weekends suddenly diverged. So Norman and I had this vision of creating this great Ontario barn that was adjacent to our cottage. It would house the children and their friends. And of course, on this week that all the Griffins descend on the property, it would house all of the cousins. We also wanted a space that was another gathering space on the property. We have cocktails here every night when we're up on the weekends. There's, of course, tons of games of pool that are played, lots of live music. It's exactly what we wanted it to be, which is this combination of sleep and play. We always loved the Ontario architecture of a barn. And part of what we wanted was a big pool table right in the center of the open space, and then a great loft space that could sleep a minimum of 10 people. Then we brought Kim, who's our CAD technician at the EG Design offices in Toronto, to help us put all our scribbles and our images into working drawings. And she was absolutely critical in getting the pitch of the roof right, you know, having to integrate all these found windows and where do they go. She was, she was really, really critical. We wanted this to feel like an authentic Ontario cottage rugs, natural materials. We didn't actually have to buy much in terms of filling the place. The skis and the snowshoes were actually really old. They were part of one of the older cottages here. A lot of the pine pieces came from the Panabo. We had way too much furniture in there, so we brought a lot of the pine pieces into here. You know, we chose to put pine up on the walls, but we didn't really want it to feel too dark. So we whitewashed the walls, which I love the effect. I mean, it's very simple. It's an open space. We have a games table in one corner, the snooker table in the center, a really cozy built-in kind of seating area on that wall. Our vision was to have all wood windows and all wood doors. Well, when we started to price that out, it was like, not gonna happen. <laughs> so we luckily, found all these windows that two of the other cottages on the property were getting rid of because they were renovating their place. So they're all reclaimed other than the wall behind me. We didn't really have any more windows. So I got into my car and found this little shop. I don't even remember where and the name. Saw these windows. I didn't have my tape measure. I didn't have my plans. Laid it out on the grass and just went, oh my God, this is perfect. It sort of feels a bit like a church wall of windows. It's actually one of my favorite features in the barn because there are these three birch trees that when the light hits them and they come through those windows, no matter where you are in the place, whether you're up in the loft or in the kitchen or playing pool, you just see these stunning trees through the windows. We wanted an old looking pool table. So we were searching all the usual suspects, you know, Facebook Market, Etsy, Wayfair, I mean, the works. And we just couldn't find anything we liked because we just didn't want it to feel new. And Norm found this gorgeous, gorgeous, I think it's 1950s snooker table. He found it half an hour from here and it was in a thousand pieces. Took him three whole weekends with YouTube on his phone to figure out how to put this thing together. But it's really, really spectacular. We didn't want to put in a full kitchen because this isn't where we cook our meals. We do that over in the Panaboat. But we wanted something here for cocktails, for late night snacks. So put in a very simple sink and a faucet. There's a bar fridge underneath 
the skirting, there's a microwave underneath the skirting, and then tons of shelving. So we use it a lot. For me, a cottage is about found items or historical pictures or what have you. So I wanted to kind of capture my parents who, you know, we wouldn't have this cottage without them. My grandparents are on that wall. My great-great-grandfather is on that wall. Even my husband, he's the one on the swing. We thought we'd throw him in, even though he's not a griffin. The staircase is actually my grandparents from their cottage when they were still alive. We brought it over here and we were two treads short of it fitting to the loft, so the carpenter beautifully put in two more and kind of hammered them and made them look old and you, you would never know. We thought we'd be a little safer and put some handrails and it's just a really lovely homage to them and to the old ice house that they basically spent their lives in. It's pretty special, pretty magical place. It's kind of like being in a tree house. The whole design of it is taken from the boathouse on the property. As kids, we grew up sleeping in the boathouse, which had a kind of loft space up some stairs. There was just a big platform bed with a bunch of mattresses thrown on this platform. You fought for the best bed in the house with your cousins. It was boys, it was girls, it was different generations. And I just loved the whole vibe of that space and growing up in that way. So we really wanted to recreate that up in our loft and dress them with some pretty special bedding that I got made in India on a recent trip. And the rest just kind of happened. Like the kids absolutely gravitate towards it. They sleep really well up there. They stay up late, they listen to music and we can't hear them, so it's wonderful. It looks beautiful now because we've made it look nice for you. Uh, next week, there will be 60 relatives on the property and 16 kids sleeping up in the barn. So this place will be filled with a lot of mess, a lot of wet bathing suits, but who cares? Like there's absolutely nothing precious in this barn. Uh, you know, my rule is dump your stuff when you arrive and put it away when you leave at the end of the weekend. And what you do between the days of arriving and leaving, I really don't care. <laughs>